So this video is going to focus on um, two reactions. One reaction being electrophilic addition and the other reaction being the deals all the cyclo addition. So <clears throat> if we look at this conjugated diene, one of the reactions that conjugated dienes can undergo is what we call electrophilic addition. It's the exact same reaction that we saw in uh, organic one. However, uh, it's a little bit different in, in that you can get a mixture of products. So if I take this 1,3-butadiene, uh, which is this conjugated diene, and I treat it with HBr, um, I get two products, uh, and notice the temperature is at zero degrees, so low temperature. I get two products where uh, this product is what we call the 1,2 product, and then this product is what we call the 1,4 product, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, if I run the same reaction at 40 degrees Celsius, um, indicating that I've increased the temperature, uh, I get a mixture of products, but the 1,4 product is present in a higher yield than the 1,2 product. So notice up here, the 1,2 product is uh, present in 71% yield, 29% for the 1,4 product. Down here is 15% for the 1,2, and then 85% for the 1,4 product. So before we get into why this is happening, we need to understand the mechanism. All right. So in the mechanism notice this is my diene I'm just numbering from this end one two three and four all right when this uh, double bond attacks HBr notice I generate this in this carbocation intermediate just like we learned before in organic one all right so the carbocation intermediate is on carbon two which is here all right this is carbon two and because of that the carbocation intermediate is allylic because it's adjacent to a double bond for this reaction, you will only form the allylic carbocation. You will never form uh, another carbocation if, it, uh, uh, if it's not allylic. Only the allylic carbocation is formed. All right. So let's think about the one-two addition. So for one-two addition, uh, it, bromine simply adds directly to the plus charge, and you generate the one-two product. For one-four addition, right, bromine adds here to this carbon to the four carbon which is here right it adds to the four carbon shifts the double bond over to stabilize the plus charge and then you get the one four product now at zero degrees the one two product is the easiest or the fastest product to form right even though it's not as stable as the one four product which gives you a di substituted alkene at 40 degrees the one four product is the more stable product even though it takes longer to form all right the difference in these two products we call one the kinetic product and one the thermodynamic product so at lower temperatures the kinetic product predominates and being in other words the product that you get to the fastest is the product that actually predominates even if it's less stable than the second product and at higher temperature the product that is more stable predominates even though it takes longer to get to it than it does uh, than it takes to get to the one two product so the mechanism for the one two product again is here where bromine simply attacks the plus charge and gives me the one two product and then bromine attacks at carbon number four and shifts over the double bond to give me the one four product so what we what we call um, these two uh, scenarios one scenario corresponds to what we call the kinetic product the other corresponds to what we call the thermodynamic product all right so with the kinetic product that's always at low temperature and it is it always gives you the product that's formed the fastest so for one two addition that will be our kinetic product the thermodynamic product if we increase the temperature and there's another product that's more stable that we're able to access it will will access it at that higher temperature we call that the thermodynamic product because it is the more stable product All right so the kinetic product is the one two product and the thermodynamic product is the one four product you only see kinetic control and thermodynamic control uh, in a reaction where there's a competition uh, between two products in other words where there's two pathways at work um, to give you two separate products so we see kinetic control predominating at low temperature and then thermodynamic control predominating at high temperature so how do we put this all together 
here are these are our starter materials and I'm going to a which is my intermediate now my intermediate can now uh, follow one of two pathways it can follow the low energy pathway which is to go to B even though I'm forming a less stable product or it can follow a higher uh, activation energy pathway to get to C and give me the more stable product okay so at lower temperatures I don't have enough energy to access C right so once I get to my intermediate A the amount of energy that's present at low temperature only gives me uh, enough energy to access B yes it's less stable however I can get to it much faster than I can get to C because there's not a lot of energy available at low temperature when I increase the temperature A can now get over the activation barrier to get to C which is my more stable product and even B is able to equilibrate now at higher temperatures and go back to A and then A can now form C right so at low temperatures this is an irreversible reaction right once I'm at A the minute I go from A to B I cannot go back to A I, I'm, I'm, I'm going directly from A to B it's irreversible at higher temperatures uh, I set up an equilibrium right so now not only can I go from A to B but I can go from B back to A but the major product is the product that's going to be that's more stable which is C and so I'm able to get at higher temperatures I have more energy available I can get over this activation barrier and get to C with no problem so that is the thermodynamic and kinetic product again you only see this when there's a competition uh, going from an intermediate to one or more products so from this intermediate to product B or to product C and so the key to remember here is that the thermodynamic product gives me the more stable is more stable the kinetic product is formed the fastest and depending on the amount of energy available uh, that's going to determine whether I'm working under kinetic control or thermodynamic control